Guys, welcome to your next uh, three month prediction reading for Virgo. This is going to be for October, November, December. Um, so you can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Um, so um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. Also, I do go live on my Instagram page where I do one question readings for $20. Um, so make sure you are following me on Instagram so that you could join in on the live. And also make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. The notification bell is turned on so that you guys get notified on when I do it. I usually make the announcement on when I do it on the uh, YouTube community tab, okay? So um, Virgo, let's get started. Tell me about Virgo. What's going on with Virgo for the next three months? Tell me about Virgo for the next three months from October to November. Tell me about Virgo in the October here. Tell me about Virgo in October. Virgo in October. Talk about Virgo in October. Okay, so we have a chariot in the reverse. Something's not moving forward here for you, Virgo. I almost get the feeling like I feel like you made a bad decision here when it comes to your work. I don't know. Something's not working out in your work situation. Something's not moving forward. You feel like there's no progress here. You feel like there hasn't really been any sort of forward movement because maybe you've been there for a long time. Uh, there's mo no promotion. There's no raise, but whatever this is, I feel like emotionally, you're not feeling fulfilled. Emotionally, uh, you're feeling like you've been duped by your work situation here. There's a lack of support here. Yeah, there's a lack of support. There's a lack of stability here. Um, I do feel like this is creating a lot of blocks here for you, but I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's there's an I feel like it's an opportunity for you to step away from the situation here. Uh, because I feel like your work situation is not being honest and transparent here with, with you. And I feel like one of the uh, one of the um, uh, one of the core values is transparency and honesty. And I feel like there's a lack of that in your work situation here. OK, I do get the feeling that this is not emotionally fulfilling here for you. You're not happy. You're feeling like things are not really stable. Things are rocky here. Uh, you know, I feel like it's interesting because I feel like um, the work situation that you're in, because there's a lack of work or something like that. Um, I feel like people are sending people home early. Yeah, I feel like someone here is getting some sort of salary cut here, too. I almost get the feeling that someone here is getting duped in the money department. Yeah, and I feel like someone here's uh, salary is getting cut, and I feel like it shouldn't happen because I feel like uh, of someone's skills and experience here, but uh, there's definitely a work situation that is coming up that you can't ignore anymore, and I feel like you have the opportunity to do something about it. Whether you want to stay and fight and call them out on their BS, or you move on to something new here, Virgo. So tell me about Virgo in November. Tell me about Virgo in November. What's going on with Virgo in November? Virgo in November. Okay, we have five of pentacles here and the two of wands. Yeah, you have a decision to make about a work situation here. Someone here is getting some sort of pay cut here. Yeah, someone here is taking a hit on their salary. This is going to be, uh, I, I feel like you're, you were not surprised by this because there's been a lot of sh shady stuff going on. You know, you might be having conversations with the higher ups. They're telling you one thing, but something completely different is happening. Yeah. So five of pentacles and the two of wands. We have the four of pentacles here and the emperor Aries energy. I feel like when it comes to your work, you, your work might be going through a huge restructuring. New management might be coming in. Uh, I, I do feel like there's a sense of like firings and layoffs here. I do feel like whatever is going on with your situation in your work company your company here i do feel like they're financially struggling here and i do feel like that's why there is a bit of a pay cut i do get the feeling that you know some of you guys could be struggling with money here or that you guys are already struggling with money six of pentacles here and the uh full card aries energy some of you guys live in very expensive cities here yeah uh, 
I just feel like it, the payoff here is just not really that great because I feel like even if you guys are making six figures here in the mid six figures, you guys feel like you're broke all the time. I mean, some of you guys might be considering moving here. Yeah, maybe he's considering moving to uh, a, a city or a town that where the cost of living is not that expensive or that that astronomical here because I feel like this has been stressing you out for a while here. Yeah, and now if there's a pay cut that's happening here, this is going to really take a hit in your wallet here. So I feel like, you know, moving forward when it comes to your work situation, when it comes to your living situation here, I do feel like there's a lot to consider here. Okay, uh, you know, whether you want to stay or just move towards, uh, you know, move to a new place here. Uh, that's really up to you because you got to do what's best for you. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a lot of struggle here. I, I just feel like um, uh, you're just not reaping the rewards. You know what I mean? You're doing a lot here. You're doing a lot here and it doesn't make sense for you to stay. You're doing all this work, but then you're getting paid less, less than before. Tell me about Virgo in December. What's going on with Virgo in December here? Tell me about Virgo in December. Tell me about Virgo in December. What's going on with Virgo in December? We have the Three of Cups here and the Ten of Swords. Wow. Some of you guys could be ending uh, friendships here. Yeah, some of you guys could be ending friendships here. Um, you know, these friendship might have these friendships, these friends that you were dealing with with here, they might have betrayed you. You know, maybe these people don't give a safe space for you to express yourself here. It could be family here too. But I feel like, you know, you're realizing that these are people that you don't need in your life that are not supporting you. That's not listening to you. Uh, that's not, you know, uh, uh, that's not giving you the time of the day when you need them, you know, uh, shoulder to lean on that sort of thing here. With the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy here and the Hierophant here. Okay. You know, I feel like at this time in December, I feel like, you know, this is a time where you're doing right by you. You're doing what's right for you here. Yeah, some of you guys could be going through, some of you guys could be moving forward or moving away or considering moving away here. Uh, because whatever financial situation that you're going through, whatever work situation that you're going through here, you're feeling like this is a, bur a burden. You know, some of you guys might even like pursue starting a new business or birthing a new business here. Uh, because I feel like maybe through this whole situation that you've been through, obviously when you work for someone, you know, it's sort of like out of your hands. It's out of your control here. And I feel like you want to be more in control of your finances and your work situation here. And I feel like some of you guys might be considering starting your own business. Yeah, you guys might be starting your own business here. But whatever business that you're starting here, I mean, some of you guys might be working in the beauty industry or something like that, you know, and I feel like maybe some of you guys could be starting a beauty product or that you guys are creating it right now. But I feel like, you know, whatever you're doing here, I do feel like you will get a lot of recognition for what you're doing, because I feel like whatever this is, maybe this this new product will go viral. Maybe this is something that you will kind of like social media the hell out of it or something like that. But there's definitely garnering a lot of attention here. OK, uh, whatever this is, you know, I do feel like there's a lot of forward movement that's happening here. Maybe you're ending, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're closing doors on something here and going into 2024 with a fresh new start, a fresh new beginning or something like that. OK, let me just pull a few more here. We have the Hermit Virgo energy and the Eight of Swords here. You guys are introspecting and self-reflecting a lot. Yeah, you guys are introspecting and self-reflecting a lot. You know, I feel like you guys are finally opening your eyes to a situation here that's no longer working for you. And I do feel like it's a work situation. You you know, I feel like you, you, you thought that you might have been able to suck it up, stomach it, but you're realizing that, you know what? No, I cannot. You know, I cannot. I, I So I feel like you might be coming to a realization that, or that you're trying to figure out about doing something on your own here, branching out. Okay, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.